Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Countersign video. Alright, today's video is going to be about Consortium Co-op Battle. A lot of you guys have asked me, hey Guitar Rock, can you make one guide for Global? Actually, I already make a guide uh, for C-Server last time. You can find it on my main channel. But hey, I figured we'll just do a refresh for Global anyways. Alright, so a 2022 guide for any of you guys watching. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe below. This is my second channel. So let's talk about Consortium Co-op Battle, give you guys an idea what you should be doing. Uh, hopefully explain uh, along the way what would be the better thing to do. So this is my guild in a uh, C server. All right, I'm not playing on global right now. This is my C server account. So let's just jump straight into the Consortium Co-op Battle. So keep in mind, this occurs every week. Uh, it's going to reset on a Monday usually. Uh, make sure you guys check your time. Time zones might be available. Uh, might be like different for everyone so right now let me show you guys a couple of things the first thing you're going to notice is let me close my face cam for a while you're going to notice up here there's three times available for you to hit arena and two times available for you to hit the worm boss now pretty straightforward actually all right so what you want to do is every uh, time you want to be hitting the arena first all right so notice now uh, there's always four arenas to choose from now What's the purpose of hitting arena? Ideally, it's to give you buffs to make sure that you are stronger. So, if you are in an active uh, guild, ideally you want to, uh, you know, try to communicate and let everyone know, hey, let's attack this arena and get these buffs together instead of just hitting the worm boss first. You want to do the worm boss last. Ideally, you want to be getting all the buffs for everyone. So, let's talk about the buffs and give you guys an idea uh, in terms of the priority, right? So, let's have a look at the uh, arena 10 this week. So all you need to do is you need to click at the bottom, artifacts in this arena, boom, and that will list uh, the number of artifacts you get. Alright, so uh, in this particular one, you can see ally mech HP 20%. This is terrible, alright, mech, nobody uses mech in the Consortium Worm Boss. So this one is not bad. Every four levels, you can see you get this yellow thing. This one is like a very universal buff that affects everyone. This one is like... It applies to everyone. All ally units attack speed by 5%. Okay, decent, decent. And then at level 8, you can see all allies unit attack plus 20%. This is also kind of good. All right, and then last but not least, all ally units crit damage plus 25%. So usually something like this one, if you see like uh, allies units attack plus 20%, this is something that you want to go for, like a universal buff that's uh, good for everyone, right? So that one is something that uh, pretty decent. Let's have a look at Arena 11. So it depends on, ideally, your team, what do you lack in your, not just your team, but your overall your guild. If you guys are struggling, let's say the worm boss is doing too much damage, maybe you want to go for defensive buffs. Like right here, you can see this one gives defensive buffs. All ally units defense plus 40%. Even though you can have defensive buffs from Lake Superior, those ship, Glebnir armor uh, type that gives uh, those defensive buffs, Sometimes it's not enough, especially once you go up higher to level 6, level 7, level 8 boss, the boss do a lot of damage, right? So you can see all ally units are defense plus 40% here, and then this one is like 50% here. This is a lot of defensive buff, I don't know why are we hitting this one, this one is not so good actually, uh, but I think somebody already went in right here. So let's have a look at the arena 6. So for arena 6, what buffs do we get? So you can see all ally units attack speed. So attack speed is decent. If you can get attack speed or attack, ideally it will be good. So this one is not bad. You can get ally units HP as well. And the last one is speed. Never go for speed. Speed is movement speed. How fast your characters move, not how fast your character hit. That is attack speed. So always know the difference. Uh, this one is like kind of bad. I wouldn't go for speed. Like why do you, why do you care about speed, right? So I would say you can divide your team uh, depends on how you want to go for it, right? You can also divide your team, your entire... If you are a guild leader, you can divide your team to attack to get each of these four buffs. Like, this one I will get up to this one. Units attack speed uh, plus 7%. And then somebody I think should attack this one as well. And get this one, attack speed 5%. And then get this one uh, at level 8 as well, right? And then this one I wouldn't attack because this one is like... Defensive, uh, I don't think we care about defensive. And then the last one... Uh, you can see right here, uh, this one is not bad, counter crit damage, you also need to pay attention to this, evasion, not so much, attack speed, yeah, this one up to level 8 is pretty good, oh, yeah, this one is an artifact that I will go all the way, so, if I see something like this, right, I usually would tell, hey, let's attack arena 7, because arena 7 is good, the one at the end is like, all allies unit attack plus 50%, 
that's a lot of buff. All right, so let me tell everyone, hey, let's all all in on Arena 7. Yeah, because it has such a good buffs, the attack and everything. So usually, uh, because this usually for C server, at least the buff, uh, the patch is always on around Tuesday. So I will give them like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, only we hit the boss, the worm boss together. So make sure give everyone some time to do the the world, the the arena buffs, and then you go in on the bosses later on. Now let's talk about this strategy. Uh, before we talk about the strategy, I will go in and arena seven first, and I will just show you guys the strategy generally. Now again, uh, the arena, this one is not too difficult. Usually, it's quite. It's doable. Uh, this one is just pay attention. If you are in global, this isn't especially if you see level hundred units. Uh, those can be a little bit scary. All right. If you see like awaken Yuna is going to be quite good for arena generally. Like for this arena buffs, if you have awaken Yuna, consider using her. Uh, Leo Mi is a very good defender. Don't use awaken Hilde if you can. I don't recommend using awaken Hilde. She's a bit. Too costly, six cost for just a defensive unit. I uh, try to go for more damage oriented. Uh, again, awaken Yuna, Carl Wong, Yang Harim. Like, let me just give you guys a staple. All right, if you don't have characters, uh, ideally for in general purpose, awaken Yuna is always something that you want to try out. Uh, and then bring Yang Harim, of course. And then you want to have at least one defender, one tank if you can. You can either use Liu Mi. You can also use um. I like Liumi because she's low cost, 3 cost. If not, Esther Rosa works. Alright, it's going to be a decent option. For DPS, you have a lot of options. You have Rosaria. Highly recommend. Carl Wong is going to be always decent. Admin Rifleman, you know. Um, Ifrit. Those are the characters that I would highly recommend. So let me go. So again, we can hit Arena. So notice, one time I hit, it only increased it to 30%, right? So how many times do I need to hit before I we get the buffs? If I hit three times, I'm not even going to get one buff. All right, I'll come back when I hit th the third time. All right. Okay, I just finished hitting the boss the third time. Uh, let's show you guys the. Uh, now you can see one person is not enough to to get one buff even. All right, it's you need the teamwork. It's a teamwork thing. So me, I did all three tries. You can actually hit one more try or extra try if you want. Uh, but you need to pay this quartz thing, 200 quartz. I don't recommend. Uh, ideally, uh, if you are in the coordinated guild, this is very important, the buffs, all right? You want to like, hey, let's attack this together. So you get the artifacts. You can see I use all, all my three tries. I can't even get one of these. So I need someone else uh, because each one only increase it by 30%, right? So you need someone else to help you to hit uh, this arena together. So hopefully you guys Try to, need to try and communicate, especially if you are in a guild that's, you know, um, you know, communication is very important. So once you have that in set, all right, once you have that place, let's talk about the worm boss. All right, I'm going to try to show you guys this strat overall. So I do have a strat that I'm using right now on C server, but I'm aware that a lot of these units global will not have, which is going to be a big issue. So I might need to reconfigure certain things, but this is usually who I use. Alright, so I have um, Kim Hana as the Operator Enterprise, and then we have Monet, we have Lin Xian. Lin Xian needs to have very high skill haste, uh, Yang Harim, uh, a bunch of healers you can see right here. Alright, and then I think Global don't have Lucretia yet. John Mason and Monet is going to be key. So why are they key? Because uh, they will be able to seal skill the boss, the Worm boss at level 8 and below if I'm not mistaken. I need to remember, I can't remember exactly, but correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. Level 8 and below, the boss can be skill sealed. So you don't want the boss to cast any spell on you. So some characters like Chifuyu, they have skill seal, but if you go to the description, you will see that it doesn't work on bosses. Like you can see, bosses and ships excluded. So only Monet and John Mason has the ability. Now, Awaken Seoyun is not yet in global. Replacer Queen is not yet in global, but these two can be replaced with uh, anyone else that does damage, right? So I can't remember exactly what characters uh, does global have and global have not. So let me try and reconfigure and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready. So I hope global will have all of these characters. Awaken Lee Suyon can be swapped with Awaken Yuna. She is going to be crucial in the left side of the, the map. 
And then the rest, we're just gonna put it in the right side. Uh, Lonely is not available in global, I think. But don't worry, I'm not gonna use her. So I just want to show you guys how to deal with the boss in terms of if you you need John Mason at least. Skill seal is very important. Give John Mason your highest skill haste. All right. So again, you got two tries. Hopefully, the first thing that you want to do, very important. I'm gonna show you guys right now. One important thing: if you play this on lag emulator that is not Steam client yet, oh my god, you gotta be careful with this. All right. I'm warning you guys. This is very important. Turn off auto. Turn off auto immediately, like that. Boom. Place this dude here, place Lin Xian here, place Yang Harim, place Evelyn. Alright, place all the healers now. So notice we brought Chinatsu in, we brought uh, Arius in. There's a reason why all of these are here. Okay, so just do this. Okay, Arius. Okay, now you notice these flying units are here? Very annoying. So now we wait for Awaken Li Suyuan. So hopefully your... your my Lin Xian. My Lin Xian will be able to cast... Okay, now we use Awaken Li Suyon. Again, if you don't have Awaken Li Suyon, Awaken Yuna will deal with the left side. So now everybody is at the right. Somebody needs to be at the left. So now we place John Mason. John Mason. Alright, we're gonna place in uh, Chifu Yu as well. So hopefully everybody is doing well. Okay, so later you will see why the left side don't, pl don't put anyone yet for now. Just to be safe. Alright, just to be safe. There's a lot of things that will happen. If the boss is not... Ideally, you want John Mason and one more character called Monet to alternately skill seal the bosses. But the boss will cast the ultimate. You can see when the boss gets the purple ping bar. Uh, I might have to turn off my face cam. But basically, at the top... Top uh, right right here, you can see once the boss try to reach the, the ping bar thing, you know, the ping bar thing. Which will happen eventually. Right now, my John Mason is doing a very good job in skill ceiling. But that's gonna happen eventually, you know? Like, it, it's just gonna happen eventually. The boss is gonna cast the spell eventually. I'm surprised the boss is not... That is the thing. That is what I'm talking about. Look at this boss. Boom! Alright, so this is an insane skill. Alright, why is it insane? It's so insane because the boss messes up and just destroys everyone. But, yeah. you Ideally, that's a skill that you're trying to seal skill. You don't want the boss to do that to you. So now we can put Choi Ina, we can put everyone else. I think it's getting a little bit laggy. Is it laggy for you guys? Alright, I'm gonna cheat a little bit guys. I'm gonna use Rearm Asterosa, hopefully you guys don't mind. So just use Asterosa or whoever, alright. So Chifuyu is still on the, on the right side. I don't know what happened, but hey. It is what it is. So we're gonna put Shinja, the Boba, and then we're gonna put uh, Seoyun at the end. I promise to not use... Uh... I think my Lin Sen didn't have gears, guys. I think my Lin Sen didn't have gears. So there's that. And then I'm gonna use skill day. So this is gonna lag like crazy. If you have potato phone, your phone is like Samsung Galaxy from 2001. Man, this raid will destroy your phone. Your phone will be exploding because there's so many characters, 21 characters total. Boom, bam, bam. All right, guys, uh, I hope you guys get an idea somewhat. All right, I know that's not perfect. Uh, I wish I could show you more example, but you can see uh, I, cheat I cheated a little bit, alright, I used Castro Xiaolin, which I don't have the normal Xiaolin. In global, you will need to use global Xiaolin. Ifrit though, ah, no excuse. Ifrit is very, Ifrit and Kim Sobin, global has, so no excuse, alright, you guys can do as much damage as, as well. Awaken Li Suyon, Tarask, uh, Chifuyu, Boom Bam Bam, alright, so you guys get the idea, alright, you guys get the idea. Um, again, I would really love to help you guys out, so if you have any questions, Leave it in the comments below and yeah, do it with your guild, do it as a team. Hopefully you guys will be able to tackle this boss together. Alright guys, I am out. That's gonna be it for this video. Again, any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section below. Have a nice day. Goodbye.